It's Cece here, and we're back with first impression. Couldn't wait, so here we go, Constantine. Season 1, Episode 1. A American TV series airing on NBC based on the characters appearing in the comic series Hellblazer, published by DC Comics, under their vertical print. This series was developed by Daniel Sharon and Davis S. Gower, and it stars Matt Ryan as Constantine himself, Lucy Griffith, Harold Perrinet, Charles Hafford, and Jeremy Davis. So, as a first episode, what did I like? For sure, aesthetically, this series has got it. This, aesthetically looking, is so much better than Keanu Reeves, because Constantine is supposed to look like that, and Keanu Reeves couldn't sell Constantine whatsoever. So, I haven't read Hellblazer, so I don't know what to expect in terms of storyline, or what the changes, or does it even fit the bill of a good TV adaptation. But so far, from a not-knowing-anything audience, I would say I enjoyed this first episode, but there are things that I would say it's bogging down the series to make it like really, really awesome. Well, first off, if you didn't know, Constantine is known for his smoking, and they cut that out from this series because you can't smoke on TV, on NBC. But they're, you know, somehow bringing it in. You gotta watch it, and then you'll know how they did it smartly I guess and the also other thing is that NBC is saying that no smoking but we can have violence and gore which if you hop over to Hannibal is tons of stuff over there and from what I read is that they're trying to go into that gore scariness section of Hannibal level so I totally cannot wait to see some crazy scares or some crazy aesthetics in terms of makeup and hopefully more makeup than CGI because I really hope that they have cool demon designs that rely on actual physical makeup rather than computer graphics because computer graphics is gonna suck and it's not gonna be as crazy and atmospheric for sure. As I said, something that bogs it down is that the previous exorcism stuff that we as general audience have seen sometimes comes out as cheesy and as serious as Constantine is trying to be, there are times where the cheesiness is because of our previous knowledge of exorcisms. There are humor throughout, and I would say it does a good job balancing it between the seriousness and the humor. But seriously, the whole exorcism thing, I, I just, I don't know, maybe we just gotta strip it away, really gotta wipe our brains just to think that we've never seen an exorcism show ever, then we'll like this. So that's the one thing that's gonna bog it down for sure. And also the terminology, and sometimes it's just hard to take it seriously. But I really hope that Constantine can like be the spearhead and bring back exorcism in this scale so that people will like be scared of it, be appreciative of it, and won't find it as cheesy. And one other thing for sure is that the aesthetics really need to be makeup, like I said before, and totally they need to find more demon attributes or demon way of acting rather than the whole 360 head thing or the spider crawl up the wall and because I seriously cannot believe that nowadays when we think of demons and possession that's what we think of is all these like crazy like, uh, so I do hope that's more I don't know something new um, one other thing is that I still don't buy the whole wing thing that comes out of your back that's just I wish they sort of got rid of that because it's just it's just cheesy but I do like how they incorporated the whole Manny character as how he just transformed that's pretty cool I just hope they don't really use the wings things too much because it's just kind of like cheese so I think that's the biggest thing with this show is that there might be a potential for it to be cheesy and I do hope that it steers away from that for sure I do wonder how audiences is gonna react because I mean I really hope that Constantine can like be also another spearheader in terms of just telling general audiences that DC Comics have more stuff than superheroes because I know that we all appreciate Batman, Green Arrow, Flash coming up but now that there's Constantine and iZombie I do hope that general audiences will be like hey DC Comics has more than superheroes and there's still awesome stuff so I'll definitely check it out when it comes out I will follow this series for sure and hopefully maybe even finish Hellblazer because I mean it it's only has 26 years of history so that's not that bad it'll be a fast read maybe but who knows anyway I enjoyed Constantine episode 1 and if you have seen Constantine tell me what you thought about it below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and that is pretty much it for this first impression for Constantine season 1 episode 1